Good morning, guys. Good morning. I came to buy Aaliyah's birthday present. I didn't want her seeing it since we share, obviously, a bank account, credit card. So I decided to come here and pay cash. I'm going to get some RVs that one of them fits all the family, the kiddos, and then I'll get one by myself. And they take us on a tour to the rainforest. And um, the reason I wanted to do this, I wanted something out in nature, you know, out in the water, something out, sweating, having a good time. But here's the thing. When me and Aaliyah got married, I didn't propose correctly. Yes, I'm a horrible husband. I didn't propose correctly. I'll share the story maybe at the end of this vlog. So my wife's always wanted me to propose to her correctly. And um, instead of doing it like on anniversary, I figured why not do it on her birthday. Plus, she is also needing a new ring since the ring that I got her is, is messed up now. Um, things have fallen off. Anyway, so here I am trying to surprise her. The girls do know I'm here by myself. And I told her I had to go pick something up at the store, so I had to do this quick. So. I got an ATV and a UTV, I think it's called. UTV fits up to four people. So I'll be um, my wifey and the girls, and then the ATV will be me. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do as far as proposing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna propose up in the rainforest. I'm gonna propose at the end. So we'll just continue brainstorming. You have the little area here, they have restaurants. They got where you could actually ride horses. You can ride horses, I'm not mistaken, in the rainforest. Look at this. You got horses that you could think you could ride in the rainforest as well as in the beach. So that's kind of cool. They also have for go karts over there, down there somewhere. And it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna start heading out. So we'll talk to y'all soon. Good morning, guys. I am exhausted. I have been waking up super, super early all week. And today's another day, a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, we were expecting a tropical storm yesterday. We had a lot of rain. I was a little scared because as you guys know, today is my wife's birthday and um, we're gonna be doing some fun things with ATVs and I wanna do something special for her. So this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Let me sit down for this one. All right, let me, let me explain to you guys something. So it's gonna sound weird saying this, but overall, you know, I'm a romantic type of guy. I'm super sensitive. My wife will tell you this, so you guys could ask her. But whenever we were dating, my mind was, I was very immature. I wasn't very serious about marriage, even though I knew that would happen one day. So here's the thing. When I proposed to my wife, I didn't propose the way I should have proposed. I'm very embarrassed to admit this, but basically we were dating. My lease was coming up in my apartment, and I remember going up to her and saying, hey babe, so my lease is about to end and I need a roommate. Would you mind moving in with me? That was me asking her. And then she says, I'm not gonna move in with anybody I'm not married to. So then I was like, so you wanna get married? And that was it. It was like that. Nothing special, no flowers, no chocolates, no music, nothing nice. And my wife's kind of one not to show her emotions. So I thought she didn't care. But in the last few years she's mentioned how she wished I would propose to her the right way and had a wedding and we didn't have a wedding either. It was another thing. We had something really small, like a little ceremony. So I decided today to propose to her. I decided to do something special for her. The girls know. My wife has no idea. And um, I wanted to make her feel special because one thing that I admit is that I do my best to be an amazing father. But I think as a husband, it may from the outside look like, you know, things are all amazing. Jimmy's a great husband. But in reality, I'm not. I'm a horrible husband um, in the sense that, you know, I, I tend to not realize that my kids will one day grow up and move out. But my wife and I, we promise in the eyes of the Lord, we promise God we'll be together forever. And I believe that there's an afterlife. And I believe that we will be in heaven. I believe that she will be the one with me for the rest of eternity so anyway 
you guys may have a different perspective, a different point of view, but I just feel like I haven't taken marriage serious um, in the sense that when we first got married, it was just kind of like, if this works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That, that's been a, a problem. Now, why am I telling you all this? You're probably wondering, Jimmy, that's too much information. It's none of our business. And the truth is, it ain't. But I'm telling you guys because if you're married, share it to one you love. Love them unconditionally. And that's something that we all have to learn. We're very selfish as human beings. So make sure that Jesus is your foundation. And um, I just wanted to share that so much more than I want to say. But today, um, she knows we're going somewhere where she needs to, she's going to be you know, getting wet and to bring some extra clothes. So we're gonna try to make it special. I'm going to propose to her. She had a ring that I had bought her that got messed up. So I bought her a little one and I hear the parrot. You guys hear the parrot? Let me see what you see. Hold on. He's actually one of those trees over there. All right guys, I'm gonna go. And um, get ready. birthday girl, happy birthday! Thank you. What are we gonna do today? No idea. Perfect. <laughs> you tired still? No, no, oh, I still feel really good last night. All right, mm -hmm. so how old are you today? <laughs> 20 old business. 22. Woo! Yeah. yeah, all right, guys, we're about to head out. We're missing Jay. She went to go get some stuff. You guys excited? Yeah. Do you guys know where we're going? Yeah, yeah, remember me telling you, but we're gonna keep it a secret, aren't we? All right, so let's head out and let's have a good time. I'm going to thank the Lord because we were supposed to have storms last night. We didn't have much and we were supposed to have um, rain this morning. And thank God the sun is out. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you, Jesus. All right, we're heading out. Did you have an idea? I did, only because there's a really good bakery that we picked up some quesitos at. Really? And I knew it had to be nearby the quesito place, which is in Rio Grande. And I figured it was this place just because it was down the street from the quesitos. So I'm like, well, I hope I you enjoy it. Had a hunch. You guys excited? I am. Yeah? Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's go over there. We have to be here 45 minutes before it takes off. And um, we made it just in time. So we're gonna go enjoy ourselves. Tells me you're nervous. Uh, I've never driven one anything. It's like <laughs> driving a car. So I'm gonna be getting an individual one, and then Ali and the girls are gonna get one that fits four. And since we're a family of five, well, that's why we did that. We gotta get a big head one for me. Okay, now that we're all secured up, this is gonna happen. We have a two hour tour. It's gonna take us to a Junge. Okay. We're gonna be able to swim for about 30 minutes in a new place you haven't gone. We have a little surprise for you, really small. Hopefully you like it, between us. We're gonna sing you a beautiful song in front of everybody and embarrass you. And that's it. All right. How does that sound? Yeah, that's well, Don't you admit that God is amazing? Look at this weather he gave us this morning. Oh, I know. We're Damn, supposed to have rain and stuff. There's a tropical storm. There's a tropical storm going literally around the island right now. As we speak. So. 
Oh. All right, Jay, you excited? Yeah. What did you just write? Jada's art? Sure. Yeah, she's always. If you guys ever see a sign that says watch Jada's art, it's just go right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so I'm a little nervous because I've never driven any of these. I thought these are much smaller. And this looks like a beast. So, here we go. The puddles are getting on me, I yeah, think. I figured you were look, look at a first view. Look at that. So there's a first stop here. This is a Junke. And let me tell you a little bit. They put us in little groups. So you have all this right here. All of these are in carts. But because I wasn't an individual one, I came in this group. There's another group on this side over here. They're all individuals. And you can have somebody with you. But anyway, so here it is. Uh, we're gonna keep on going after this. So here's our second stop. The Atlantic Ocean back there. Um, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to go to the river where I wanted to give Aaliyah her surprise because it rained a lot yesterday. Um, it's kind of dangerous. So we're gonna go to another place where they have like food and kiosk and they have a little river there. So it's not gonna be as special as I wanted it to be, but tight, we'll make it happen. And um, baby, by the time you watch this, you have no, you'll know what's going on. I just want you to know that I love you with all my heart. You, right there. You, right there. You, you. You say hi. Hey. You. This time Jay's gonna take off with me. All right. Let's head out. Ready? Yep. All right. You ready? I think we can. We're just not gonna go to the main river because of the flash floods. But yeah, we'll make it happen. All right, guys. Let's head out. gonna go down there. Hey, look at this tree, babe. Oh. Hey, come here, Eva Leila, come here. Come here, babe, come here. Here, right here. I love you. Mm -hmm. And you've been complaining. It's not the best way to start. Mm -hmm. And you have the right to complain because I haven't done things the right way. Come here, dude. And I wanted to make it up to you. So I wanted to ask you if you So this is, we can't get in the water like we said, but look how it looks. She said yes, so that's a good sign. Now it's time to finish our tour. You having fun? What are you eating? I think we're gonna go to have kiosks with food and stuff, so go check it out. Here's another stop, and this stop sells juices, natural juices. They got coconut water, balcha, different things. So we're gonna come check it out, and look at this view, guys. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we got 
passion fruit, natural juice, acerola. I think it was Aaliyah's first time taste. No, you had it before. But this one was really good. And then I got these lovely girls. Piña colada, piña colada, piña colada, and parcha colada, which you never had. GoPro, but we still had fun, didn't we? Yep. Forgot to take everybody on our journey. This is the one we were on. I wish I would have shown you what it looked like before. <laughs> it's full of mud. And look. Mud, mud, mud. Fango, look at Jay. <laughs> Did you have fun? I had fun though. Mud is actually really fun. It is. All right. How was it, Mama? Huh? You like it? Last thing we're going to do before we get some lunch is do some go karts. The girls really wanted to drive, but they're still just. I had a blast. I think Aaliyah had a blast. I think the kids had a blast. We finished out with some Mexican food. I am exhausted. I'm tired. But whatever the wife wants to do for the rest of the day, we'll do. And when you guys have a good one, and I got a video coming real soon um, regarding the cabin. So I hope you guys keep on following us and you guys can see the update on the, on the cabin. I'm doing this because my wife says I don't blink when I talk, so I'm consciously blinking now. All right, talk to you later.